Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Greetings, everyone. This is Catherine, and welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. And I'm Rachel. So, as you know, Rachel, we recently featured Montserrat in the Caribbean, and we did make mention that it had gotten its name from a much older place, the Montserrat in Spain. I think my favorite fact probably about Montserrat is, uh, of course, the name, because I always wonder, like, why is that called that? You mm -hmm. know, Montserrat, what does that actually mean if you break it down? Yeah. So in Catalan, Montserrat literally means um, serrated mountain. Oh, okay. Makes so w after the mountains, which do look like they are kind of cut, uh -huh. and and part of the sort of legend of of Montserrat is that the mountains uh, supposedly were sawn by angels. Uh huh. Uh huh. So making it this very you know sacred site. In fact, the patron saint of Catalonia is the Black Virgin, whose image was found in a in a cave called the Santa Cova or the Holy Grotto there. And there's a whole um story that surrounds mm -hmm. this statue. So supposedly uh, it was carved by St. Luke of, uh, of the Bible mm -hmm. in 50 AD and it was brought to Spain and then it was hidden from the Moors so they wouldn't get it and then in 880 AD um, there's a story of um, shepherds seeing bright lights in the sky mm -hmm. and angels singing which led them to the grotto and the statue. So it's like Christmas, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And um, you know, many miracles were attributed to her. She was called the Black Virgin, um, not because she's of African descent, but actually because the image itself is black, um, you know, over time by uh, just hands touching it, the smoke from candles and this kind of thing. It's actually darkened the wood. So today people come from all over. They make a pilgrimage to sort of honor this Black Virgin. And one thing I thought was interesting was that uh, the statue is encased in mm -hmm. all in glass except for the orb that she holds, which is oh. not. And you and pilgrims actually touch that. Yeah, as yeah. part of their you know pilgrimage experience. Yeah, they get about two million visitors a year. That's how popular it is. In addition to uh, the Black Virgin is in the Basilica, but mm -hmm. there's also a monastery, which has been there up there on the mountain since about 1025. Uh -huh. And for the longest time, there's been a community of monks, and there still is. I think there are about 30 there mm -hmm. today. Yes, about. It's very 30. small. Yeah. But the thing I think is the coolest is that since that time, since the 11th century their routine has been fairly similar. Mm -hmm. So they have um, this motto, work in prayer, work in prayer. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they do. Yeah, it's just kind of interesting to think about. That's a thousand years they've been right there. Yeah, just uh, working and praying. Exactly. There's a very famous boys' choir attached to the monastery called Escolania. Um, it's uh, the oldest boys' choir in Europe. It's uh, starting about the 1200s and they will perform at the Basilica. So the boys sing in the Basilica every day at one, and from what I was reading, uh, it's always packed. Yes, so yes. You, so if you go and you try to you know, see them, you may or may not see a lot. You probably hear them, but you may, you may, not, you may not see them. And jammed in the back, It's pretty yeah. popular. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, the Basilica is just absolutely beautiful. You know, the interiors are just gorgeous. Um, it's definitely worth seeing. And if you'd like to see more religious art, there's also a museum of Montserrat nearby, and it has a lot of uh, religious paintings, mainly from different centuries, but it's also got some modern works by Monet, Picasso, Dali. So, considering where it is, it's actually a pretty uh, well-known and popular museum. They also have a big, awesome-looking library. Yeah. And I think a, a publishing, a really old publishing house, too. Mm. So um, lots of neat... How far back does that go? I don't know, but I know it's old. So that wraps up our pilgrimage to Montserrat. And if you'd Montserrat like... Montserrat 2. Montserrat 2, exactly. <laughs> and if you'd like more information, check out our blog. And uh, we will see you next time for more cool stuff. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at howstuffworks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.